Bryce Young has officially okay. been benched. With that being said, man, does he deserve to get benched? And what's next for Bryce Young's future? Okay, I want to go first. The Carolina Panthers organization is to blame him. <laughs> okay. And you know how I know? Go look at Sam Darnold, who's right. playing, who used to play for Carolina. Go look at Baker, <laughs> who spent a year in Carolina. X. Go look at Matt Rule, who was the coach at Carolina. Seems like everybody that's South Carolina is succeeding. <laughs> uh, um the, the Carolina Panthers handled this wrong. First off, we yeah. all know the truth. Frank Wright wanted C.J. Stroud. Yeah. And he got overruled by David Tepper, the, the, the owner, and because apparently, this is ridiculous, but apparently the reason why David Tepper is uh, wanted uh, Bryce Young over C.J. Stroud is because they had dinner with both. And his wife said she liked Bryce Young more. <laughs> Apparently, that's that's the rumor. Okay. Wow. So, Theo, when you get married, <coughs> keep your wife out of the front office of the NFL. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. Definitely. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, the, he screwed this up. And the worst part is. David Tepper was probably excited and everything and was pushing Frank Wright immediately to start him. I think the, the best thing that would have been is to not let Bryce Young start off week one of that previous season of his rookie year. I get it. So number one pick, you're excited this and that. But you have to have better awareness of your team. You have to say, this team sucks. Okay? And it's best to throw Andy Dalton in there or another veteran and let him learn off of that. And we can also judge the team off of with the team being with Andy Dalton and say, okay, is Bryce Young ready here? Would we would we make him lose his confidence if he started playing with this team? So um, I don't think – I'm not ready to call Bryce Young a bust yet, and I'm not going to call anybody a bust right after the rookie season. I'm not. I got to give it more time. That's my thing with Anthony Richardson. I wasn't the biggest fan of Anthony Richardson coming out of Florida – but here's the thing about Anthony Richardson. Right now, he's actually the star, youngest starting quarterback in the NFL. He's the absolute youngest. He hasn't played 18 games since high school. So why the hell would I lose my mind with Anthony Richardson right now? You got to give him time. Not everybody is C.J. Stroud right off the bat. But would, so, it give him, would it give him the time that he needs, though? That's my concern. And, and that's what I'm saying. The Carolina Panthers need to give Bryce Young time. Um, I also am not, I've said this before on the show. I'm tired of coaches getting uh, fired after a year or two. I also don't want anybody to lose their minds if you haven't won a Super Bowl immediately. Like, I'm all about giving things time and letting them develop. I think that the Giants have given Daniel Jones enough time to now be like, all right, you stink, okay? And he does. He stinks, okay? Um, uh, so I, I got to well. give Bryce Young more time, but it's hard now because they put him in a terrible situation. Now his confidence is shot. It, it's shot. Um, he doesn't have the best weapons. His best weapon is Adam Thielen, who's 85 years old. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> So, so uh, they overpaid for Miles Sanders. I mean, I appreciate them trying there, but I mean, come on. So I I just don't know how you fix the situation now. I obviously you can't send them out the rest of the year. You've basically said, all right, you stink, we suck, we have no hope in you. Now I think they have to play Andy Dalton, judge the team how they play how he plays, and then bring him on later in the year. I don't know. I think they've done this thing terribly uh, wrong from the start, and now now you got to fix it somehow. I, I just don't know how. I feel bad for Bryce Young, actually. Um, sure, could he look better than last year? Like he it looks like he hasn't improved at all either. That's a bad thing as well. 
Um, so it, it's tough, but I'm not going to call my bust yet. I got to give it a little more time. And, uh, yeah, and, and it sucks for Carolina because everybody else that's left them is, is succeeding now. So they, they are clearly the problem. Uh, Dave Canales, their new cor- uh, uh, head coach, was the one that turned around Baker last year, actually. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but uh, he's not a uh, he's not a bust in my book yet. Like I, I got to give him more time, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I'll go next. All right, so is he a bust? Yeah, he's a bust. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> because you get benched two games into your second year um, as a number one pick at, on a horrible team, and they bench you and put in Andy freaking Dalton. Hey, bro, you're bust. Because not only do they not believe in you, they don't even have any intentions on getting anything back from you if they were to trade you. Because anybody who looks at that, would you take him in a trade? Would you give up anything worth anything? I wouldn't give up a, a fifth round pick for him. Right I just now. want to say real quick: the Niners got a fourth round pick for Trey Lance. By the way, yeah, it sure did. You're right, but Trey Lance <laughs> got hurt. Trey Lance yeah. got hurt. He didn't. He didn't get benched. You benched this guy, and and he and Trey Lance wasn't the number one overall pick either. So. You um you look at it, you benching him. Now you you got you got to roll with Andy Dalton. You got to, and you'll be terrible again this year. Do they did do when they get the number one pick this year? Do they get to have the number one pick, or did, or did they trade it off to the Bears too? No, if, if right now they would own the first pick. Okay, yeah. So when they pick a number one this year, uh, if <laughs> Quinn yours, if they say he's gonna be the number one pick. You go with that, but I don't think that's much. That's that you're not upgrading yourself much, right there. Um, I just I think I can't, uh, if Peyton Manning was coming out, do do you already give up on Bryce Young? Like I don't, I don't know. Hell yeah, yeah. If I Peyton mean, it's, e- it's easy. It's easy to say now because we no, know what Peyton okay, is. I'll go back. If Andrew, you know, I mean, he had this conversation. If Andrew Luck was coming out, I don't give a damn what that boy was going. I'm taking Andrew Luck. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, the Bears basically did that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. If, if they had had the number one pick this year after Bryce Young last year, I would have took Caleb Williams again <laughs> with the first pick and uh, traded Bryce Young immediately. I don't know about that. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I would have. have. He looks Caleb Williams looks way better than Bryce Young to me. I don't know. Bryce, <laughs> Bryce Young was on a loaded Alabama team. That's why. That's he a fact. Good. That's a fact. Yeah. I um I just think that I think he's a bust. I hate to say that he's a bust, but he's undersized. Facts. He hasn't been able to produce. He doesn't have any weapons. Like I said, his best weapon is Adam freaking Thielen. I mean, come on, man. How do you expect this man to succeed? Carolina and and, and they <laughs> y'all gonna laugh when I say this. They should have brought a mentor in on the um on the staff, Cam Newton. They should have brought Cam Newton and put him on the staff somewhere. I don't care if he was a fourth string quarterback. Show him how to adjust to being a Carolina Panther number one pick and uh, have the franchise on your back. They should have brought him in. Nobody knows how to do that better. Nobody has been through that. He's been the exact same thing. He he could say, "Hey, I've been there. This is how you do that. This is how you do this." They should have done that. They should have brought him in. Had him on the staff somewhere to help mentor this young man because he looks lost out there. And it, and what's so bad about it is I looked at his coach talking to him when he was on the bench. Um, I think he had just threw another interception when he played the Saints, and he was looking. He was he wanted help. He wanted the man to help him, but they don't know what the hell they're doing. They didn't tell him anything. He he was looking at him, and his eyes are wide. He looked like one of those eleven year olds I coach that just wants to know what to do right. <laughs> And and I was like, that dude doesn't know what to tell him. He didn't know. <laughs> he needs a better coach. The whole organization is is terrible. And um, Carolina Panthers right now, they're they're where they're where your career goes to die. You know, I, I said that about the Raiders for years, but right now Carolina's that team. Okay, okay. So 
I want to start off by saying I 1,000% agree with C. He is a bust. It is over with. I don't have to see anything else. And it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate. It is. It is. Oh, um, <laughs> the fact that Carolina's coach lied, too. They He basically came at the press conference and was like, we're rolling with Bryce Young. I swear to God, it felt like the next day, like, no, we're going to switch to Andy Dalton. Like, yeah. what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Like, well, well, that tells me. That tells me David Tepper told the coach, yeah, we're making a change. That's but what it my, seemed like. But to my me. thing is this if Tepper was like he loves Bryce Young, why wouldn't you roll with Bryce Young? You're just taking the man's confidence, like you said, you're taking his confidence away from him because the coach, even despite his play, was willing to roll with him because we're gonna get through these humps and these bumps and we're gonna have you back no matter what. And yet they give it up on him. And so a couple of things. Man, trying to keep his job, eh? To, I feel you, but to, Andy Dalton's not going to let him keep that job. Don't worry about that. No, that, it, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> so this is a perfect example to all my kids out there. I know everybody says, oh, you know, I want to be the number one pick in the draft. Being in a great place over the number one pick would be a better situation for you. The uh, Eli Manning is the perfect situation. He was like, man, I'm not going over there. I'm, I want to be somewhere else. And even Dion has came out and said, I'm not letting you there play for anybody. And this is the reason why you have situations like this. We saw Josh Rosen not get a shot in Arizona for being realistic. He didn't get a real a legitimate, a legitimate, a legitimate shot in Arizona. So I just look at it. I said, all the kids out there, be careful what you ask for. The number one pick is great. I understand that. But if it's not the right situation, it could turn out like this. I'm with C, too small. I didn't love him coming out in the draft because he was small. He's really not super athletic, neither. Not he not. has some athletic ability, but he's not crazy athletic. He's not Lamar Jackson. He's not even Andrew Luck. <laughs> so it's yeah. not, he's small. He's un And then here's the kicker to this. This is why I say he's a bust. No matter what Carolina does and no matter what he does, he can win a game. They're always going to look down at there in Houston and see what C.J. Stroud's doing. And he'll never live up to that, in my opinion, no matter what he does. And it's unfortunate because C.J. Stroud is surrounded by a lot of talent now. <laughs> and they're going to win ball games. We all had them in the Power 5 rankings, I believe, on our Power 5 rankings. And they went to the playoffs last year. And when a team looks at that and says to themselves, man, we struck out, they lost faith in him. And if they lost faith in him, I wish the kid the best. I hope he goes on to have a great career, but I don't see it. I don't think he'll ever be a stud in the NFL. He may get a shot to start no. a couple of games, but that him being the franchise guy, I could be completely wrong. I don't. I think that vote has sold, has sailed. Geno Smith um, is his ceiling. Um, <laughs> um, as far as Bryce Young goes. Man, he is a bus. He is the biggest bus, man. When I compare his career, man, uh, I compare his career to um, it, 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 just based off the situation that they were in. I compare it to David Carr, Derek Carr's older brother, because the situation he got in was, I think that's where's the time when the franchise first started. Mm -hmm. Um. And their offensive line was horrible. They had no freaking no running backs. Wide receivers was was nothing. I think their best wide receiver during that time when he was there was Jabbar Gaffney. And Jabbar Gaffney wasn't a stud like that that we see. Stud in Florida though. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, shoot. He 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 actually did better when he went to New England to Jabbar nice. Gaffney. Nice. Um and, and and it was just a bad time and a bad situation. And David Carr just never became the player that we thought he was gonna be um with with the first overall pick. He's with a good Bryce analyst, Young, though. Yeah. <laughs> with <laughs> Bryce Young, though, man. With Bryce Young, though, man, it's just it, he just, it, I just don't see it. He just doesn't have a sense of urgency. He just doesn't play with no confidence at all. 
I understand that he doesn't have no weapons, man. Um, I know they tried to trade to get, bring Deontay Johnson to the team. Adam Thielen's there. They drafted Xavier Leggett uh, from the draft also. You know, they, they tried to add some running backs That also. boy did nothing since he got on the field. They, they signed Miles Sanders and did nothing for them. They, I, I don't know what the Panther organization organization doing. They go and get rid of DJ Moore, Christian McCaffrey, their best defensive player Burns. It's like I don't know what's going on there. And they and they decided to go with Bryce Young. I just don't see it, man. I just I just see bus written over all over this. I just don't think he'll ever get his career going. And it, it, it and it was just the the development, the preparation, being forced into in that situation though, because that was the worst situation possible you could be in. Getting drafted to the Carolina Panthers, the worst team in the NFL right now. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'd rather take Daniel Jones right now over Bryce Young. If, wow. if, if you tell, if you tell, I actually disagree. If you know, if you tell, at least, at least freaking Daniel Jones is a, able to generate plays and give a team his team a chance. Like they did lose against the Washington Commanders or Redskins. Um, they did lose to them, but Daniel Jones somewhat gave them a chance to be in that game with Bryce Young. These last two games, they're getting their ass whipped. They, they're not getting no chance at all. He's not moving the freaking ball at all. In his defense, they did play the Saints. Oh Everybody God. looks bad uh -huh. against the Saints. And the Chargers. Oh, no, no. Come on, no, the Chargers. No. Up to the Chargers. See what you're talking about. But at the end of the day, man, he's, but that, but at the, end of the, day, he's the number one yeah. overall pick, though, man. He's the number one overall pick. There's high now, expectations. I see what you're saying, though, because I got that's what I was saying. With Kyler Murray, I'll use Kyler Murray, for example. You see something. Even though Colin Murray has a one, you see something. With Bryce Young, you don't see anything. You're like, it's nothing that's like, okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm with Keo. I do agree with him. And, so and, I, and, I, I, and my point was, I was going to say, was it's not like you can even say he has all the tools. He's just in a bad situation. I don't see the tools. Like you said, Colin Murray, you see something. Justin Fields, you see, yeah, I actually would make that argument. I think Justin Fields has looked better than him. Yeah, Justin Fields looks way better than him. <laughs> I, like I, my argument is, find something you can't find anything that he does great. Does he pass the ball great? Does he run yeah. great? Is he Damn. great at re reading defenses? Nothing. You can't find anything that he does exceptional, and and he's not supposed to be great yet. But he, you can't find nothing that he does good. Well, <laughs> you know I mean? well, guess what? Was well, guess what? The Miami Dolphins is looking for a quarterback right now. Mike McDaniel, you, you, you could, you got Bryce Young needs some damn weapons. Hey, Jalen oh Waddles there, Tyreek is Hill. If Bryce Young can't do that with those guys, oh yeah, get he his can. ass out of here. Man, <laughs> send Bryce Young to New Orleans. Oh wow! Well, man. Well, we'll 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 see what happens with Bryce Young, though. So, uh, you know.